My name is Teddy. I'll be showing you how to remove uh, Kenwood stereo. Uh, the tools you'll need is maybe a flathead screwdriver and then the stereo keys that came with the stereo. The first thing you want to do is start by removing the faceplate, set it off to the side so as to avoid scratching the faceplate, and then remove the trim ring that came around it. After that, there should be two holes on the side that you would want to insert the keys, releasing the locking mechanisms for the stereo. Now you can just pull on it if some resistance is given. You can pry slightly, trying to avoid prying on the actual plastic, but on the metal, just to help loosen, till you can get a firm hand. Once it's unlocked, remove the keys, grab firmly again onto the metal versus the plastic of the stereo, and then remove it. Now on restalling the Kenwood deck, you would want to make sure all wires are out of the way of anything that can cut the wires, and make sure you have plenty of room to slide in. Sliding back in, using even amounts of pressures on the side versus the center and push. Sometimes they may give you resistance if too much resistance is there to where you will be hurting something. Again, remove the stereo, move the wire so you will have the proper amount of room to work in and then reapply the faceplate. And that's how you remove a Kenwood stereo from a car.